Tonight's Health Watch Now, could a new video game help researchers unlock some of the secrets to Alzheimer's disease? British researchers are hoping data from the game can help diagnose the earliest signs of dementia. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez uh, here to show us how it works. Max. That's right. It's all about what scientists call big data. Now, big data is collecting information from millions of people to tease out the tiny differences that predict who's at risk for developing Alzheimer's. With no cure, early detection and intervention may be the key to reducing the terrible toll of Alzheimer's. Perfect shot. 80-year-old Fred Walker is doing his part to help Alzheimer's research. Each time he plays a video game, Sea Hero Quest, it tracks his navigational skills and sends the data to scientists. Fred knows how valuable dementia data can be. His wife, Joan, died of Alzheimer's in 2010. He watched as the disease slowly took her. She was so frail and helpless and totally dependent. You know, the woman who raised my kids made a home. She was gone. Very little data or testing exists that can detect the early onset of Alzheimer's. Getting lost is one of the first signs of the disorder. So researchers are hoping Sea Hero Quest can provide a baseline for how people navigate and eventually help doctors identify who's most at risk early on. The possibilities with this data are very exciting. Researcher Hugo Spears says playing the game for just two minutes generates as much data as his team would collect over five hours in a lab. Three million players have already downloaded the game. With three million people, and you can see all the tiny differences between all these different people, and different ages and different, whether they're men or women, um, other background details. Fred became both caretaker and nurse to his wife before she passed away. With this video game, he feels like he still has a part to play in finding a cure. Now, you can help Alzheimer's research uh, with a download of Sea Hero Quest for free from the iTunes App Store and Google Play. Now, with 5 million sufferers of, of Alzheimer's, and that number is climbing as the population ages, our best hope is to find those at risk and intervene to delay the onset of Alzheimer's, at least until we can find a cure. And as you guys know, I lost my father to Alzheimer's uh, some years back, and I just realized as I was watching this that he got lost one time years before he was actually diagnosed and had no idea where he was. I couldn't mm -hmm. find him. He was driving a car and got, got lost in Philadelphia when I was in Philadelphia wow. one time. So, you know, it might be an early sign there. Right. All right. Thank, Thank you, you, Dr. Dr. Max. Max. You bet.